Hello guys. This is lesson 2 from the STM32 series. In the first step, please create a new project with your specified board. I have STM32 G431C6. As you can see, CubeMX configures all pins. I will tell you what is these pins for. These two pins are for debugging and programming purposes and an orange one is used only for debugging. It is reserved, but not used by the debug peripheral. That is why it is orange. Input pins. External low speed and high speed oscillator pin. Usart TX and RX pins. LED pin. And the others, power pins and then used pins. You can press the left key on any GPIO to see what peripherals are available for that. For example, I choose a pin for ADC. It goes orange. It means it is reserved now for that purpose, but still not configured by peripheral. If you enable that ADC, it goes green. Some of the choices like GPO input, output, and analog do not need to enable any other peripheral. Thus, it goes green after choosing. You can lock any unused pin by right click on it. It means that the pin cannot be selected by any peripherals. And you can rename any configurated pin by right clicking. Write a name and write any extra comment inside brackets. If you press signal unpinning, it means any other peripheral can change this pin to other available pins. You can see the USART pin move to another pin. You can see any alternate pin by pressing and holding control leaving the mouse on the pin and moving and releasing the mouse button. I did not find any useful function for pin stacking. If you know please comment it for us.
I would like to change the interrupt pin to a simple input pin for the first project. It is connected to a key on the board. After renaming the pin, go to the System View menu and click on the GPIO. You have access to the configuration of any GPIO that is used in all peripherals. By selecting any pin, you can see all options. GPIO output level is the pin state after power up. GPIO mode, push pull and open drain. Pull up, pull down for input state. Maximum output speed. And pin name. For input pins, you can select only pull up pull down, and float. I want to know how to connect the key on my board. It has an external pull down. And I don't need to use an internal pull up pull down. All clock settings have been configured. Select your project name. Set the compiler. Click it to make a cleaner code. You can select it for decreased power consumption in low power applications. You can select full assert to enable more than for printing the hard fault state. Generate the project and open it. As you can see, all files are generated by CubeMX. Open main.c and write your code in the correct position, after the start and before the end section. I want to write a simple blinker. I use the GPIO toggle function. You can use your name for any pins you have set before. Or use directly GPIO and pin.
I need a little delay for the blinker. Compile and see the result. Now, you have set the debugger. Your board has been programmed with the new firmware. You can see the result. Now I want to add a read pin on my code. So that while pressing the key, the LED goes on, and what else, it goes off. Watch the result. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.